The main theme in Psalm 91 is abiding in God's presence. And what is to abide? To abide is to remain. To remain in the presence of God. To remain in prayer. To abide is to continue. To continue walking in a prayerful spirit. To continue walking by faith and not by sight. To continue in God's presence. When the Bible says, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. To be under the shadow of God is to be covered. It's to be protected by the Almighty. What can get to you if you're under God's shadow? What can bother you? What can worry you? What can plague you if you're under the shadow of the Almighty? Allow me to offer some encouragement to you. Run to God. Run to Jesus. In His shadow alone, you find safety. You find security. You find protection and preservation. And so before we pray, allow me for a moment to read the Word of God. Psalm 91 verse 1 to 16 says, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in Him I will trust. Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side and 10,000 at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked, because you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the Most High, your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Dear friend, when you're feeling the full heat of the fire that comes with life's troubles, run to God. Get on your knees. Remain in prayer. Continue in prayer. Stay in his presence. Abide under the shadow of the Almighty. My dear Heavenly Father, I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice. May they be drawn to your presence. May they be drawn to your secret place. I pray that every man and woman of God who is listening right now will be covered, protected, secured, defended, shielded, and hidden by your shadow. I pray in the name of Jesus that you are hidden from the sight of evil 
The devil will not be able to lay a hand on you or on your family because you are protected by God Almighty. May you find the Lord to be your safe place, your peaceful sanctuary. May God's presence reside in your home, in your hearts and minds. I pray for every son and daughter of God who is in agreement with me right now. When the storm seems endless in life, may the good Lord grant you supernatural strength. Even if the enemy tries to steal your joy, may he fail and be crushed by the angel of the Lord which encamps around all those who fear him. I pray for peaceful thoughts in your mind. I pray for an overwhelming peace and divine joy to sit right at the center of your heart. For anyone who is uneasy, may the Lord calm your spirit. I decree and declare that it is well within your soul. It is well in your home and in your life. It is well with you, child of God. May the Holy Spirit grant you boldness and courage. May you stand strong and firm in faith. I pray that you will not be found to be fearful in any area of your life. You won't be found to have any worry or anxiety in your life in Jesus' name. Father, we claim your word and say, Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life. I have victory in the name of Jesus. Victory over any mountains, any giants. Victory over the obstacles set by the enemy. And I want to thank you for the power that I can access through your blood. Power that allows me to overcome daily, to be blessed daily, to wake up in your grace and mercies each day. Lord, we choose to trust in you each day, each hour, each moment of my life. You gave your life on the cross to set me free. Psalm 91 verse 2 says, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. I confess this to be true in your life, in our lives as believers in Jesus Christ. God is our refuge indeed, our hiding place, our shield and defender. Blessed be your name, Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, you are a mighty and all-powerful God. Thank you for being our safe place for being our refuge. Thank you for your wonderful care and your tender mercies. Thank you for being a God who sees us in our weakness. And so, Lord, we ask that you would stir us up in our spirit so that we would have the desire to pray, touch our hearts, and ignite a burning desire to pray. Your word in Colossians 4, verse 2, it tells us to be persistent and devoted to prayer. Being alert and focused in your prayer life with an attitude of thanksgiving. Lord, in this world there are many enemies that we face as your children. Help us to be alert. Help us to be focused in our prayer lives so that we would not be destroyed by the enemy. Your word reminds us that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Now, in this battle, Lord, we can only go to our knees and ask you to intervene. Fight for us, Lord. Your word in Psalms tells us that the angel of the Lord encamps all around those who fear him and delivers them. Father, we thank you for the promise of protection. Give us the power we need to overcome the enemy. Give us peace so that we will not allow fear and anxiety to hold us back. 
Help us to trust in you and not to worry. Father, we trust that all of our steps are ordered by you. We have confidence in your word that tells us to approach the throne of grace boldly and that if we ask anything according to your will, then you will hear us. Father, I pray that I will always abide under your shadow, meaning that I'm always close to you. You're always near and never too far from me. I will say to you, Lord, you are the chief cornerstone of my life and you are my strong tower. I'm trusting in you to be with me always and to be my defender. We call on you, King Jesus, because only you can lead us beside still waters. Only you, Lord Jesus, can renew our strength. Your word in Isaiah 65, verse 24, it says, before they call, I will answer. While they are still speaking, I will hear. God, we thank you for being faithful. We thank you for your word that tells us that before we call, you will answer. We trust that you will help us in our time of need. Father, we hold on to your word in Psalm 32, verse 7 where it says, For you are my hiding place. You protect me from trouble. You surround me with songs of victory. Thank you for listening, for hearing our prayer, Master. Continue to cover us. Continue to lead us. Continue to protect us. It is with thankful hearts and in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Psalm 91, verse 1 to 16 says, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him I will trust. Surely He shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side and 10,000 at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked, because you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the Most High, your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra the young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation.